So Stan's back in school today. Uh, I just laid down Finn and Ollie for a nap. And so I'm gonna head out real quick and grab coffee. Don't worry, I'm not just leaving my kids home alone. My mom is here, she's watching the kids, don't worry. So this is the Starbucks at the Lithia uh, building here in Medford. When they're building the building, I guess the story goes that they asked a whole bunch of local coffee shops if they would put a coffee shop in here and they all said no, so they put it in a Starbucks. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? Which I think is crazy because we have some really good local coffee places here in town. They should have just jumped on board. So I want to talk to you guys today about the story of Joseph, specifically um, in Genesis chapter 39. Joseph was sold as a slave by his brothers, and he ended up in Egypt in a, and sold to Potiphar to be a slave in Potiphar's house. But it didn't take long after being sold as a slave to Potiphar that Potiphar realized how great he was. In fact, take a look at this verse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, put it right here. Have you read it yet? Has it been long enough for you to read the whole thing? That's probably been long enough. After that, a whole big mess happened with Potiphar's wife and Joseph ended up being put in jail. In fact, as soon as he got into jail, the same thing happened there. Here, take a look at this verse. Has that been long enough? No, you keep reading, you keep reading. Well, that's been long enough. You see what happens is every time that Joseph is given even a little bit of responsibility, he shows himself to be super responsible and super trustworthy. So much so that people just put him in charge of everything. Potiphar put him in charge of his whole house. The jailer put him in charge of the whole jail. And later on, he gets put in charge of basically the entire nation. Now, I know that all of us have different kinds of abilities and we're good at one thing and not as good at another thing. And some of us have natural leadership abilities and some of us don't. Hi. Whether you have those natural leadership abilities or not, it's important that you step up and be a person of integrity, a person of honesty, and a person who does a good job at the work that you do. We see that being taught throughout the Bible, not just in the story of Joseph. You see, God wants us to act with honesty and integrity, and he wants to promote his people into high places so that his good news can be spread even further. You see, we're his representation here on earth. And if we're not giving him a good name, then he's not going to want to promote us to a place where more people can see us. So be like Joseph. Act with honesty and act with integrity and see what God does for you. What do you think? I'm just going to leave without my camera. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell. That way you can get notifications anytime I do come out with a video like this. See ya.